Hi, it's been a while guys and I'm back. I'm back with another piece and this one is going to be a digital painting. First, I drew the composition on my sketchbook thinking all the while that I'm going to work on it traditionally but then somewhere along the way I changed my mind. I took a photo of it on my iPad and settled on working digitally. I used my iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil to do this piece and I used an app called Medibank Paint. It's a free app available in the Apple App Store and it does its job perfectly so I recommend it. I placed the image and sketched it out again adding a few other elements and changed a few things here and there. Firstly, I started with the background color and then I worked on all the other elements in it. For this piece, I tried working differently and this is not how I usually work. For this one, I put down the colors that I saw in the picture and then I used the smudge brush to smoothen the colors. I worked and reworked this way to get the perfect colors with smooth transitions. This was the first time I've used the smudge tool because most of the free apps doesn't have one. So I'm used to working with opacity alone which doesn't yield such smooth transitions and it takes up a lot of time. So when I found this I was overjoyed. I loved working on this piece. It made it so much more easier to work and I loved the look of it as well. So basically you just put down the colors you see and then you smudge them together. So let's talk about this piece and the concept behind it. The past few weeks for me had a lot of ups and downs. I tried filming, I had everything ready but it just didn't feel right. This piece also took a very long time for me to finish. Even though I worked on it every day for at least 6 to 8 hours. It could also be because of the fact that I kept changing things and I wasn't happy with a lot of it. A lot of thoughts about my career and future and I was also held up with a commission. So yeah, the past few weeks were not that great. And on one of those days, I was upset with something I've seen on Instagram. 
it was not just on one occasion but multiple occasions on the same day and it just kind of ruined that day then i wanted to be productive that day and i was thinking what to draw and i wanted to draw how i felt that day so that's when i came up with this idea and drew it this piece is called the trap and it's about social media it's about how they lure you in and influence your life so much that it has that much power to ruin your day or your week I chose the Venus flytrap and a few other carnivorous plants, poison berries, etc., because it felt like the perfect symbolism. It lures insects in with its sweet nectar, only to trap them and feed off of them. And I think social media is very similar in that way, and we are the insects that gets lured in and trapped. Don't get me wrong, I love Instagram. I'm very inspired by some people there, and it it's like a showcase for my art, and it's great. I love it. But then there are those days where it just adds fuel to the fire or it just makes you feel like crap and that you're not up to the mark and it has made me feel that way countless times. I recently saw one of my favorite artist YouTubers who talked about this and how to get over it and it hit me that I was not the only one going through this and it kind of reassured me. So yeah, the hand in this work shows that we give social media that power to influence our lives so much and it is also definitely in our hands to make it a positive influence. I use the metal shard kind of thing that's bloody to show that on the surface it's pretty fun, colorful and addicting, but it has its shortcomings. Basically to show the bad side of social media, how it could have a bad influence over us, how it could affect us. So it's about how I was feeling that day. Once again, I do not have anything against any of the social medias out there, and I just drew what I was personally feeling, and I hope you see where I was coming from. Social media is very important at this time and age, and a lot of people run their businesses via social media, and it definitely is very helpful in so many ways. But also see to that you use it wisely so you don't give it the power to affect your real offline life and also be sure that whatever influence it has on you and your life is positive and inspirational. I hope you liked this digital painting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Prints of this piece will be available in my Redbubble shop. Do like, share, comment and subscribe. Check out my Instagram and DeviantArt. I have given all the links in the description below. Keep creating and I'll see you soon. Bye!